Tongans are so powerful, and what will happen next? When hot magma rapidly bursts out of the ground and encounters cold water, this fuel-coolant interaction can be a kins-grade chemical explosion. Previous eruptions on the Hunga Islands could indicate the system is being recharged for a once-in-a-thousand-year event like last week. The Kingdom of Tonga doesn't often attract the world's attention, but the massive eruption of an underwater volcano on January 15 sent a shockwave, literally, around the world. Volcanoes are usually not much to see. It consists of two small uninhabited islands, Hunga Tonga and Hunga Haapai, located about 100 meters above sea level, 65 kilometers north of Tonga's capital, Nuku'alofa. But lurking beneath the waves is a huge volcano, about 1,800 meters high and 20 kilometers wide. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano has been erupting regularly for the past few decades. During the events in 2009 and 2014, 15 hot bursts of magma and steam exploded through the waves. But these eruptions were small, dwarfed in scale by the January events. Our research on previous eruptions shows that this is one of the largest explosions the volcano is capable of producing approximately every thousand years. Why are volcanic eruptions so explosive, given that seawater is supposed to cool magma? If magma rises to seawater slowly, even at a temperature of about 1200, a thin layer of steam forms between the magma and the water. This provides an insulating layer to allow the outer surface of the magma to cool. But this process is not successful when magma is ejected from the ground full of volcanic gases. When magma enters the water rapidly, each layer of steam is rapidly disrupted, bringing the hot magma into direct contact with the cold water. Volcano researchers call this a fuel-coolant interaction, and it's akin to a weapons-grade chemical explosion. An extremely powerful explosion tore through the magma, A chain reaction begins, with new magma fragments exposing the fresh hot interior surface to water, and the explosion repeats itself, eventually ejecting volcanic particles and causing explosions at supersonic speeds. The 2014-15 eruption created a volcanic cone, merging with two older islands in Hunga to create a combined island about 5 kilometers long. We visited in 2016, and found that this historic eruption was just the highlight of the main event. Mapping the seabed, we found a hidden caldera, 150 meters below the waves. The caldera is a crater-like depression at about 5 kilometers. Minor eruptions, such as in 2009 and 2014-15, occurred mainly on the caldera rim, but very large ones came from the caldera itself. This massive eruption was so large that the erupted magma collapsed inward, deepening the caldera. Looking at the chemistry of past eruptions, we now think that minor eruptions represent a magma system slowly refilling itself to prepare for a major event. We found evidence of two past major eruptions of the Hunga caldera in deposits on the old islands. We matched this chemically to volcanic ash deposits on the largest inhabited island of Tongatapu, 65 kilometers away, and then used radiocarbon dating to show that the major caldera eruptions occurred around 1,000 years old, with the last one in 1100 AD. With this knowledge, the eruption on January 15 appears to be right on schedule for the major. We are still in the middle of this series of major eruptions and many aspects are still unclear, 
partly because the island is currently covered in ash clouds. The two previous eruptions on December 20, 2021, and January 13, 2022, were moderate. They generated clouds up to 17 kilometers high and added new land to the combined island of 2014-15. Recent eruptions have raised the scale in terms of violence. The ash plume has reached a height of about 20 kilometers. Most remarkably, it spread out almost concentrically at a distance of about 130 kilometers from the volcano, creating a plume with a diameter of 260 kilometers, before being distorted by the wind. This demonstrates the enormous power of the explosion, which cannot be explained solely by magma-water interactions. This indicates that a large amount of fresh gas-laden magma has erupted from the caldera, The eruption also generated a tsunami across Tonga and neighboring Fiji and Samoa. The shock wave crossed thousands of kilometers, was visible from space, and was recorded in New Zealand about 2,000 kilometers away. As soon as the eruption started, the sky was blocked over Tongatapu, with ash starting to fall.